Today, we're going to be making my slow cooked beef rendang. Welcome back to our kitchen, where we show you how to make delicious, family friendly recipes. Rendang is an Indonesian dish and it's popular the world over due to its rich and complex flavours. The beef is slow cooked until it's meltingly tender and slightly caramelised. Now I've got the oven preheating to 150C or 300F and we're going to add 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil to a cast iron casserole dish. Now mix 2 tablespoons of plain all purpose flour or corn flour with a pinch of salt and pepper. Now I've got 800 grams or 1 and 3 quarter pounds of stewing or braising beef here. You can use cheaper cuts of beef such as chuck or shin because the long slow cooking process will ensure it's fall apart tender. Now we're going to coat the beef in that seasoned flour. Place the beef in the hot oil and cook for five to six minutes, turning a couple of times until it's brown. You might need to do this in two batches. Remove the brown beef from the pan and place in a bowl. Add a tablespoon of vegetable oil to the pan. Now add a diced onion to the pan and turn down the heat and cook slowly for a couple of minutes until the onion begins to soften. Add in five cloves of minced garlic, two tablespoons of minced ginger and a teaspoon of turmeric and cook for another couple of minutes while stirring. At this point you might notice the base of the pan is getting quite brown but you can just add in a splash of water to prevent it from burning. Now we add in two chopped lemongrass stalks, two red chillies that have been finely chopped, a teaspoon of tamarind paste, a tablespoon of ground coriander, a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, two kefir lime leaves, three tablespoons of dark brown sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to mix all that together and cook for a minute. The fragrances filling the kitchen right now smell amazing. Now we add in two 400ml or 14 ounce cans of full fat coconut milk and bring to a gentle bubble, stirring every now and then to ensure nothing stick into the base of the casserole dish. Add the beef back in and stir. Place the lid on and put in the oven. Cook for 90 minutes Giving the curry a stir after 45 minutes. After 90 minutes, remove the lid and give everything a good stir to make sure nothing stick into the base of the pan. Then we're going to place it back in the oven, uncovered, for another two to two and a half hours. Towards the last hour of cooking you'll see that the sauce is starting to go darker and the oil is starting to separate from the coconut milk and rise to the top of the dish. This is a really important stage in a beef rendang as that oil will actually be frying those tender beef chunks giving it a lovely caramelised exterior. If you like your rendang with a little bit of sauce you can take it out of the oven half an hour or even an hour earlier when it's got just a little bit of oil on top and still some sauce underneath. But if you prefer it drier like I do, then leave it to cook until it's really dark brown and the meat's lovely and caramelised. Drain off any excess oil before serving. Gently stir the rendang and serve it with rice and sprinkled with spring onions and fresh chillies. And that's my slow cooked beef rendang meltingly tender, slow cooked beef packed with loads of flavour. It's one of my favourite Indonesian dishes. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of our new videos every Monday and Thursday. <laughs>